Hey guys, what's up? I'm playing a Nord character who hails from Dragon Bridge. He's tired of the Empire and he wants to help the Stormcloaks overthrow the Imperial supporters. His other ambition in life is to learn from the Greybeards and learn the way of the voice. You guessed it. Yet it's, it's yet another shout build. Yes, I know. There's quite a few of them on YouTube lately. In fact, my first YouTube run was a shout build. And I'm sure even offline, shout builds are quite popular in Requiem players. So, my previous run, of course, the character died and it was a dead is dead. And I was pretty unhappy with that playthrough. I mean, I never got to the fun part. And uh, it was a very inefficient build. So he here we are. This is my take two of the shout build. So the usual starting items, a couple of weapons, some armor, some potions. And the usual package for, for shouts. The Lover Stone and Talos Blessing. As for skills, I'm going to use block with one-handed. And of course with evasion for the Greybeard robes. And along with these three, I'll only use alchemy. And if not, I might also try lockpicking, although I'm not sure about lockpicking. But it's a drastically different build than what, what I tried last time. No magicka. Pure warrior build. The theme will be a monk warrior. Like exactly like the Greybeards. Only the robes, only the weapons, only shouts supplemented by alchemy. So here we are in solitude. <clears throat> it is a very fresh start, especially after you've done fight run countless of times. And in front of us is a forsworn cap. <clears throat> so maybe like this character overheard somebody talking in Dragon Bridge about some some sightings of some rebels up over the hill and he's gonna go check it out. Now we know it's just a couple of Forsworn in here but they're still pretty dangerous so we have to be very careful. I don't want to get hit even once because their poisons are pretty potent. So I, I think I'll go, I, I'll run all the way back. Yeah. Fuck, I'm still getting fired at. Come, come and face the Force War. Come on, come on. So far I've only hit him once, and that was the second time, because he's so damn fast. Damn, that was scary. I actually won't recommend going here for all level 1 because these are obviously very formidable enemies even in the, in the number of 2. So the reason I came here was fuck. So the reason I came here was for the Force 1 axe which is great. It has good damage on it and it also has a very powerful enchantment. The poison enchantment. And I, got, I can also turn off its enchantment with this mod. It's very handy. Ah, oh, fuck. I 
hated when it rains. Come on, boy, where you at? See her. Give up you still can. Fuck. She is zooming. fight so get scared of the force one especially at early levels might as well pick the ale bottles in case I have to make in case I have to make uh, what, what are they called healing poultices and yeah before starting the recording I actually got a quest for broken ore grotto that's where I'll be headed Usually every city has this one person who gives you a quest for a bandit camp and he gives you a thousand gold for it. And in solitude that person is the executioner. So he gave me the quest for Broken Ore Grotto and after that I went ahead and got the bandit bounty for Broken Ore Grotto. So that way, I mean I get two prizes for the just doing one quest. Pretty good. And actually, since I'm going alchemy, might as well pick up these mountain flowers. They're very convenient when you want to heal your stats. Because the first alchemical ingredient in them is the healing. So the, it's the healing health for blue and for purple it's it's a recuperation. So you don't even need a perk. To get the healing out of these. The camp I'm going to is obviously a very... Uh, it's a huge camp. There's a lot of enemies. There's lots of potential for you to get swarmed, but we'll be okay since we have a very good weapon on us. The poison enchantment will make short work of anything. Anything in that cave, that is. In fact, the toughest part would probably be the archer in front, uh, right in at the start of the cave. I always hate archers. God, they're so fucking annoying. And they're strong as well. Using AI, my bad. Well, my list is very dark. I like it that way, so I'll have to use all these light sources for me. Got 
see the arch over here. So for this archer, what I try to do is I wait for him to go to that uh, balcony kind of thing. So that I get... Oh, this piece of cover. <laughs> that was very... Very close. Didn't mean to pick this up. It's not good to be this low on stamina. The thing is, after playing Blade Fury, I find myself to be very trigger happy with power attacks. Because that build is so aggressive and so fast. Kinda have to remind myself not to power attack so often. Another archer up ahead. Try to sneak into him. Okay, now time for the big guns. Oh, fuck. That was scary. I'm also in line of sight of the archer, so I need to get behind cover. It almost got me. I mean, it would not have killed me. I even blocked it. What the fuck? I'm hitting the dead bodies. That's annoying. Trying to find any other body that I killed on the way. Looks like that's it. Oh no, the. Sighting one more guy along with the archers. I mean, I knew the archers were there, but there's one more melee guy. Where the fuck is he? I think he's done. 
thing is down, but no, it's over here. I'll make you pay. Oh, I'll have to go again. Hide behind cover from the archers. Strong weapon, isn't it? I mean, if not for this poison weapon, I I don't think I could have killed uh, clear this dungeon. Then maybe I I if not for this weapon, then maybe I should I would have taken the alchemy perk and then created lingering poisons of my own. get me from where I need to know how that happened okay it's from this little angle that's crazy keep my light on and I went in blind that was my mistake but anyway that's the dungeon cleared and even got blessed with good RNG I guess four insights it's pretty good Although I don't tend to bother myself too much with how many insights I get. They they average out throughout the playthrough. But I know it's more critical that you get insights early on. Because you're weakest at the early levels. But it's okay. Damn, there's some slot fish in these waters that prevent you from fast traveling sometimes. All you have to do is walk up a little ahead and then... Voila! Silver War Axe, right, so I'll, I'll check up on any smiths I come across. He does not have one. You need arms or armor. It's okay, I don't need it right away. I just need it when I will want to go to Bleak Falls. And I'd actually like to do Bleak Falls early. But after I'm done with Solitude and Windhelm, yeah, that's where I'm headed after you know, Solitude. Off my mind. Here's your pay. Windhelm it is. Damn, I like these these uh, wooden textures on these doors. So beautiful. Looks so realistic.
I just realized that there's gonna be a cutscene now. Oh. Maybe we can co cover something about this build while this transpires. Actually, I did remember something. So I did change the tree tweak settings for skill points required. By default, it's 5, 10, 20, 30, I guess. And uh, yeah, so I've changed, changed it to 15, 30, and 40. Because in the shout build, you'll be farming dragons, you'll be farming word walls. You'll be doing a lot of stuff, so you'll be swimming in insights. You know, I I think I can even crank this to 45, but let's leave it at 40 for now. Let's see how fast I'm leveling. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave. It's well guarded. Rest easy. You're dismissed. Be quick. Hmm. I had you figured for a minute. Take care of yourself. If you have been remember. excellent, you've done us a great service. Spill your blood. Here is your reward. Time for some level ups. I'll be using skill it's points like a miser. I have a task for you. I want to begin stockpiling food and water in the event we come under siege. And I would like um, you to oversee this work personally. Block. And I, I won't hoard creator points. I'll use them right away. As soon as I get them. Food or water to spare. General Tullius will never allow that. He's ordered all surplus food to So the first bug goes to dodge. General the one after this goes to this one. That'll allow me to power attack. And after that, I'll take the block book for this. And after that, I'll straight up go to alchemy. I'll straight up go to level 50 and take both of these books. I guess I'm off to Windhelm. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Huh. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some count. So this guy, he's tired of the no uh, of the Imperials. He's gonna go to Windhelm to join the Stormcroak Rebellion, but not before doing a couple of bandit quests. So as the guy in Solitude, the one, the executioner who gave us the bandit quest, the one in Windhelm is the ship captain. I'll take one quest from him and either way I will go to Lost Knife because it's a nice dungeon, another big bandit camp. That'll be good to end my episode over there. What the fuck? Why isn't he selling stuff? What? Is it too late? Or something. Actually, I needed something from the smith because uh, Lost Knife actually has a caged chest, a lock chest, and yeah, I'll need a scroll or a master key or something to open it. But it's okay, I can do that after the episode behind the scenes. Let's check up with the ship captain. What bandit camp he sends us to. Make an example. The heart's the spirit, right? <laughs> Lost knife it is. Good good for me. I'll just take the bounty quest as well. That way I'll get double reward. Ah, oh, fuck.
Looks like I'll have to go to the steward. And might as well go to the wizard then and get the scroll of knock. I have anything for him. I think you will appreciate this. Strength and steel are well and good. And let them die with them. Damn, it's going to be a long walk to Lost Night. always a troll to annoy you Stuck. No, I refuse. I cannot die like this. Not like this. Oh my god. destined to kill Alduin. I'm destined to kill Harkon and Mirak. But I almost died to wolves. Yep. Huh, I guess it was my bad. I was just running too recklessly. Should be aware of my surroundings. Which is why I try not to travel during the night. It's fucking dangerous. And also, I also like having dark nights because it makes them dangerous. Dangerous and scary. combat the darkness I'm actually going to use the alchemy night eye power later on
finally we make it safe and sound to our destination. Okay. Another big dungeon and let me check the enchantment. It's over half. Which I think will be enough. Just in case it gets depleted and I have another spare force one axe on me. Which will be should be good. I would have been more careful if it were, if it were a dangerous looking bandit. I think I should use this fortify health potion. Because I'm gonna get swarmed. some water noises. I'm gonna assume some people jumped into the water to get to me. Somehow got me the power attack. What the fuck? Where'd you come from? It's raining bandits. Fuck's sake. I don't think he's gonna get out, is he? I have to take matters in my own hands. And this is what I get for doing that. <laughs> oh shit. Ah, even he got in the water. What the fuck? have to troubleshoot the problem, won't I?
I guess that's why I got swarmed back there. Because uh, there's two enemies here. They probably ran back to kill me. Nope. They are huddled in this little room. Close to getting gumbered. So the next part of the dungeon will be scary. Unfortunately, I don't. I don't have any supplementary spells or scrolls or anything on me. Oh. I'll have to use the, the enchant. I shall increase my skills. I'll get a level up. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? It's literally nothing on me. I'll just have to raw dog this. Oh, I think I'll. I think I'll rush the archer inside. That's how I'll start it. close not bad considering oh fuck Dude. I really needed that hit. Oh, 
Oh fuck. I hate archers. Nice boots you've got there. Yes. Stand still. But there's not enough space to guide these people around. You always have to watch your back when you're running away from enemies. You really cannot afford to get stuck anywhere. Holy crap. I'm done with this. Jeez. The thing is, after playing the Blade Fury build, uh, this... I mean, it. this is feeling so slow. I'm really finding it hard getting used to. But anyway, that's the end of episode 1. Hopefully, we do something more than bandits in the next one. Alright, thanks for watching.